Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. If you guys are not yet subscribed my channel, I request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. So you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. In this video, we will talk about classification of electrical load according to power system and phases. In previous video, I have discussed about resistive, inductive and capacitive load. So I recommend you to please watch this video and I have given the link for this video in description box. Now let's discuss the classification of electrical loads. So classification of electrical loads on the basis of nature, power system and phase. According to nature, we have already discussed in previous video, which is resistive load, inductive load and capacitive load. Now come to power system. So classification of electrical load according to the power system. It is domestic load, commercial load, industrial load, irrigation load, municipal load and traction load. And classification of load according to phase that is sing single phase load and three phase load so now we will talk about each load step by step so let's start it domestic load so basically what is domestic load domestic load is defined as the total energy consumed by electrical appliances in the household work the domestic load consumes very little power as compared to others like uh, industrial load and traction load. This load mainly consists of lights, fan, refrigerator, air conditioner, mixer, grinder, heater, oven, a small pumping and motor etc. These pictures are of domestic loads. Like here we can see LED bulbs, grinder, pumps, heater, oven and refrigerators. Now come to next which is commercial load. So. Commercial load consists of electrical loads that are meant to be used commercially such as in restaurants, shops, malls, hotels, hospital building, advertisement, etc. So, commercial loads occurs for more hours during the day as compared to the domestic load. Lighting, HVAC system including chiller, FCU, AHU, BRF, firefighting pumps, these are the example of commercial load. As we can see over here in the picture, this is the lighting of commercial mall, which we can see over here. This one is HVAC system. It includes chiller, FCU, HU, BRF. So compressor and primary pumps and secondary pumps are the major load. Now come to another picture, which is firefighting systems. Here we have a jockey pump, hydrant pump, a sprinkler pump are the example of commercial loads. Now come to another load which is industrial load. So industrial load consists of a small scale industries load which is up to 25 kilowatt, medial scale industry load which lies between 25 kilowatt to 1000 kilowatt and finally large scale industry loads which is above than 1000 kilowatt. So induction motors are the major load of industry. Industrial loads may be connected during the whole day or whole night. So this is the induction motor which is used in cement factory and this one is electric boiler to generate the steam. It is used in different industries. So these two are the example of industrial load. Now come to irrigation load. So generally motors and pumps used in irrigation system to supply the water to the agriculture field to do the farming. Irrigation loads are supplied during the off peak hours or night hours. As we can see in this picture first, electric pumps is watering the fields. And another picture we can see over here a sprinkler pumps are watering the farms. Now next is municipal load. So this type of load consists of a street lighting, water supply and drainage system etc. The street lighting is practically constant during the night hours. Water may be pumped to overhead storage tank during the 
of peak hours to improve the load factor of the system. In the first picture, a street light is on during the night, both sides of the municipal road, as we can see in this picture. In second picture, hydropneumatic or booster pumps are used in municipal water treatment plant, which helps to distribute the water in the municipal houses and third one is stp pumps which is used in sewage treatment plant so these are the examples of municipal loads now come to traction load so electric railways tram cars trolley buses are the traction load this one is electric rail second one is trolley bus and third one is tram car so this is the pantograph as we can see in all picture here above the railway trolley bus and tram car now i am going to discuss how it works so actually power transmitted with the help of pantograph which is contact with overhead contact wire 25 kv line in case of electric railway again this voltage is stepped down with the help of transformer and AC power is converted to DC with the help of rectifier and DC power fed to DC motor hence it operate then this motor can drive the electric railways this working principle also apply to trolley buses tram car now come to single phase load so the load which is operated through the single phase that is two wire system one is phase and second one is neutral is called single phase load and operating voltage of single phase load is 220 volt and 110 volt this volts depends upon the country most of domestic loads are single phase power operated so as we can see in this picture this red one is our phase wire and black one is our neutral wire so we have a only one phase over here to operate the this pole now come to three phase load the load which is operated through the three phase that is three wire system r phase means red phase yellow phase b means blue phase is called three phase load operating voltage is 380 volt 400 volt 410 volt and 440 volts these all are depends upon the country so commonly commercial and industrial loads are the three phase power operated so this motor is actually three phase motor which is operated through three phase so as we have a r y b and also we have a neutral but we can see here r tap y tap and blue tap these all three phase are connected to our these three phase motors and hence we can operate it so thank you for watching this video hope you guys are like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get the notification regarding my upcoming videos related to electrical plumbing HVAC as well as AutoCAD drafting. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you again in next video.